Welcome back to engineering. Today we're going to work in SOLIDWORKS and we're going to make a fairly complex sketch. Not crazy hard, but we're going to do something new with our sketches. Uh, we're going to use a polygon to define a five-pointed star and then do a circular pattern in a sketch uh, and then be able to cut that star up. So let's get started. So you'll see my object that we're working on. This is in exercise 1.3.4, I believe. And I'm going to go ahead and start a new sketch. And I'm going to just start it here on the surface. Now, I want to make a five-pointed star. So what I want to start out with is a polygon. And the polygons are neat for using as construction geometry because the polygon is all equal-sided, and I can tell it how many points to have on it. So I'm going to use a pentagon, and I want to click this for construction button. Where are my cursors? Flash it. I'm just going to drop it somewhere down here. It doesn't really matter where, and I'm going to pull it out. It doesn't really matter the orientation. And I want to be sure I have four constructions selected here. And then hit the check mark to exit my polygons. So now I'm done dropping that polygon and uh, I've exited out of the tool. And you can see that I can move it around and I can rotate it. Well, the very first thing I want to do with this is I want to give it an orientation. So I'm going to choose one of these legs. It does not matter which one. And I want to go ahead and make it horizontal. Now the next thing I want to do is size it. So I've made this uh, in an inscribed polygon, and I want this interior diameter to be 1.25 inches. So you use my Smart Dimension tool, click it out, and make that 1.25. It may hop off your part here just momentarily. Not a big deal if it does. Second thing I want to do is I want to dimension it, and I chose to use the edges. So I'm going to click from this left edge, and that's the top of the left edge, because this part has a draft to it to the midpoint, and I want to make that dimension 1.25. Also, I want to click from the bottom of my extrusion, again, that is the uh, bottom of the top side of it, and I want to make that one inch. And now I've got my polygon uh, fully defined. And I want to keep working from a position where I'm fully defined always in my model here. Uh, so my next thing that I want to do is I want to make the star points, but to do that I need an inner radius. So I'm going to choose my circle tool. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that so it's co-centric with my polygon. Drag it out a little bit and drop it. It doesn't matter the size, but now I want to click this For Construction tab, because I'm just going to use it to construct my polygon. Similarly, I want to apply a dimension to that circle. Now the circle, I want it to be 0.75 inches. So now you can kind of see the shape of a star taking place. If I go from one point into the circle and to the next point, I've got the makings of a star. So let's grab my line tool and do that. Got my line tool. I'm going to click once on the outer point, and I'm going to drag it in here. It doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to drop it anywhere and I'm going to drop it a second time up there and exit my line tool. Now, to make this star using the polygon, I just have to apply a constraint between these two. So I'm going to go ahead and click, hold my control key down, select my first line, still holding my control key, select my second line, and I've got these two lines. Now I'm going to make them equal. That's one way to add that relationship that we learned about in class earlier. A second way is I can come up here and go Add Relations. And now I just click on the entities. I don't need to hold the Control key down. And I'm going to make these equal. When I do that, it is going to, to the check mark to accept it, it is going to make this a fully defined sketch. You'll see because if these are equal length, it's going to go at the midpoint between these two points. So it would actually line up midpoint perpendicular there. So that's one-fifth of my star. Now, I could repeat that five more times. I don't really want to. Instead, what I want to do is come up here where it says Linear Sketch Pattern, and I want to do a Circular Sketch Pattern. Now, this is very similar to how the circular pattern works for a feature, except here we're doing it in a sketch. Now, we don't do this very often because it's kind of hard to reverse. So the first thing I want to do is say, what point or round object do I want to go around, and I want to choose this center point right here. In my sketch, it happens to be 0.6. Now, I want to do five instances, 
And the lines are these two lines that I've made to make my star. And now what you'll see is I have a star shape. Five instances going around 360 degrees. And hit my check mark. And you'll see that's a closed body star. I'm also fully defined. Now if I go back in here and I change these dimensions, you'll see that my star shape will change with it. That's 0 0.6, 0 0.3. But I really want this to be 0 0.75. So that's how I make a star. Exit that sketch, do an extruded cut through all and you'll see now I've got my star shape cut out in my part. That's all there is to making that star and using that uh, linear and circular sketch pattern tool. Thanks for watching.